Hello everybody, welcome back to another reading. Today we're taking a look at the case of 22-year-old Yeko Taguchi from Japan. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, she was 22 in June of 78 when she was taken by North Korean agents. She was a bar hostess and a divorced mother of two. She was actually on her way after work to pick up her toddlers that day when she disappeared. Um, an informative, who much later was in Japan to talk about the people who had been taken by North Korea, said that she was definitely alive and that she had been assigned from July 1981 to March of 1983 to teach table matters, makeup and hand gestures. After that, the North Korean authorities said that she had died in a car accident in 1986, but that same informant said that a driver had told her that he had seen her alive no later than 1987. Um, all of her relatives think that she is still out there and other than North Korea saying that she died in a car accident there really isn't any proof against that but other than that we don't really know anything else so I was asked to do a reading on this with the tarot and we're going to start off with the hush tarot which is currently on the table and for any further questions we're moving on to the urban tarot deck which is this one with the more modern imagery as per usual, I'm just going to start shuffling the deck. As soon as I have enough cards on the table, I will stop and we'll take a look. So without much further ado, let's get started. Alright, so we're starting off with the Knight of Cups in reverse, followed by the Four of Cups in reverse, and then the Three of Pentacles. Now the Three of Pentacles is really quite interesting because as I was shuffling both decks to prepare for the reading, uh, one of the decks already dropped a Three of Pentacles, it was the Urban Tarot. So it's always interesting to take a look at what card pops out as I'm shuffling, even before we've gotten started. So that was the Three of Pentacles, and we see it again in the first of our three cards here. So there's definitely some working together, I think. That kind of means, like, they're working together right now still. Like, there's just a lot of being cooperative, um, teamwork, maybe just to uh, keep things going, I guess. So just kind of working on things, working with people uh, in this case. Uh, we have the Knight of Cups, as I said, in reverse. Normally Knight of Cups of Right is focusing on their own emotions, focusing on their own things, kind of just letting the rain fly and letting uh, the horse, and usually the horse, in this case the crow, uh, go wherever it wants. Um, but it's in reverse. I'm thinking maybe they kind of felt a little bit lost at some point. They weren't able to make any choices. I feel like this part is still the time right before she got kidnapped. And uh, I'm thinking that she may have felt a little bit lost and a little bit unable to make a choice. Kind of because uh, I believe she was a single mother of two and I believe in Japan that can be very difficult so she may have just felt kind of stuck mostly stuck in her feelings in that regard I'm pretty sure that she was doing everything that she could just kind of feeling a little bit stuck here and then she uh, got here a chance to work with somebody it may be that they offered or asked if she would like to help out with something and that's how it kind of started like she was on her way home to pick up her toddlers and I believe this may mean that she got approached by somebody as she was on her way home and they may have asked her to help out with something like they may have pretended like only she could do that or it would be something very quick 
Uh, this is not a very unusual approach. People coming up to ask for quick assistance with something and then having ulterior motives. Next card we see is the Death card followed by the Five of Swords and the King of Cups. Okay, so the Death card in this case I think really just symbolizes the fact that her old life was now gone. That chapter was closed because that is what death tends to point to. Something closing and something new. Uh, coming in its place like you can see a little hatchling over there in the nest while well, they're sitting on a skull so one chapter closes another one opens but it didn't open very peacefully because we do see here the five of swords so there's a lot of arguing verbal mental arguing strife that sort of thing which is uh, completely expected of course there's somebody trying to kidnap you you don't want to go obviously and there's going to be a lot of words so i think she really did put up at least verbally quite a fight but this person who was there with them I'm seeing a king of cups uh, representing them I think that they were able to convince her that it was going to be okay somehow and they were able to quiet things down with that of course not all of that was truth because on the second line we see the page of swords in reverse now the page of swords tends to speak quite hastily but in reverse I think that's even more of uh, manipulative tactics could be just downright lying uh, saying whatever it is that people want to hear it's followed by strength and then the empress in reverse so i'm thinking that eventually she probably saw through those lies and probably saw through it quite quickly and then she's like okay uh, i need to gather all the strength that i have in order to continue because uh, there's no going back at least not for the foreseeable future so i need to be strong and uh, take care of myself the empress is in reverse I feel like this is her feeling very much alone and abandoned and having to take care of herself. I think this is also representing her feelings of abandoning her children, even though she can't help it. Just like really, really uh, sad and dejected because of that, as you would be, because I believe they're only two and one year old at the time so they were very young and they probably wouldn't understand maybe there's also a little bit of melancholy here in the sense of will they still remember me after a time when i come back at some point if i come back at all uh, next we have the emperor here followed by the eight of pentacles and the seven of cups all right so the emperor i think is somebody stepping in to take control i think this is definitely an external person so not her herself maybe somebody who was a handler somebody who was supposed to keep an eye on her and make sure that they were going the right way and that they cooperated and knew what was expected etc and we do see a lot of focus here with the eight of pentacles which tends to be a lot of hard work as you can see it's a craftsman working on his statues so i'm thinking that the emperor kept her focused on the task at hand and maybe she also kind of felt that was the best thing to do right now to kind of also uh, get out of her own mindset like what people often do when they've just experienced something really traumatic they tend to focus on work because they need a distraction that's the type of energy that we're getting here so this emperor pushed her in that direction and she kind of just went with that in order to survive we do have here a seven of cups which is um, if wishes were horses, that type of thing, wishing for things to be better, but knowing that they can't be, uh, this person appears to be wishing that they had a horse, but the horse is made up of dreams, well wishes, and it's uh, literally falling apart. So basically only the parts that she seems to be focusing on appear to exist, but uh, underneath it all, there's a lot of other stuff going on. Like I believe there is a snake or something over here that makes a part of this horse. So there's like things that she wishes were true. She may have tried to maybe uh, imagine a certain existence for herself. And uh, of course that wasn't true because the truth was much darker than her imagination was. But she did always keep that little spark of hope, I think. At least at this point she did, even though she tried very much to uh, fall in line and work very hard do not stand out um let's go to the urban tarot let's see what happens next okay here we have seven of cups again 
So we have seven cups twice. I think this may lead to initially she was just kind of like trying very much like hoping, wishing, dreaming. And at some point she may have even started to believe it a little bit because this seven of uh, cups is called the botch. It's like the botchery, which points towards, I think, uh, some alcohol abuse, maybe substance abuse. Uh, maybe a little bit of partying. I don't know how much that is possible in North Korea, but I imagine that in order to try and keep people calm, they will offer them things that would uh, maybe keep them sedated. So we may see some of that happening. Maybe some issues with that. Whoop. Seven of Wands is the next card called Valor. Seven of Wands is people coming for your position. It could be uh, people standing up to certain things. She may have kind of maybe silently rebelled against the, her captors or maybe openly in some way. Uh, I don't know how far that could have gone, of course. And then we got three cards here. All right, so we have here Princess of Pentacles, which is the Page of Pentacles. So that's like expenses, maybe in careful spending. We have the Wheel of Fortune, which is one of the darker ones in my collection, pointing towards possibly not great changes, but there may have been some hope here because there is definitely a spotlight on the actual wheel itself, maybe coming from a bad situation, hopefully going somewhere better. Also um, looking at this here, crystal ball, which is like a truth teller or what you call these psychic over there. She may have tried to consult with people who are able to do that type of thing over there. I'm pretty sure there is a mysticism movement available even in North Korea, because people tend to want to uh, have answers all over the place. I'm thinking she may have spent some time trying to contact people like that and trying to either force or find things changing. Because she's unable to let go because this Five of Cups is in reverse. So Five of Cups is normally like uh, crying over spilled milk, but there is still something there like um trying to deal with your situation even though it's not what you wanted that type of energy was normally is the five of cups but in this case i'm thinking it's more of uh, not really wanting to accept it so even though for a time she was like trying to dream up a better existence she started to rebel possibly in actions because the wand is an action suit so maybe she started doing things that may not have stood out initially but they were like her ways of protesting uh, maybe to dropping the ball on certain things that she needed to do, stuff like that. And then she started uh, spending time and resources, trying to find some way out. Definitely did cause a change. Unable to live in her current situation, at least not uh, emotionally able to withstand it much longer because of the Five of Cups in reverse, just not wanting to look at what was there for her and only really focusing on the things that she lost. This one came first, the Seven of Pentacles called Failure, but it is upright. Seven of Pentacles is trying to see things like a harvest coming to fruition, just kind of waiting on the things that you've uh, sown to spring up from the ground and bring you their results. And perhaps also impatiently, because this card is called Failure and it is indeed very dark card, but normally it would be somebody looking at the vines to see the pentacles uh, maturing. Maybe they felt like they had a lot of stuff out there maturing, like over here with this page of pentacles, she may have set out quite a few different uh, options basically, hoping that some of those might come to fruition, but it looks as though none of them really did or not in the way that she wanted them to. And then we have here the hermit in reverse. So hermits normally like withdrawing and uh, just going inside and keeping all everything bottled up and just retreating to an inner world so you can uh, regroup mentally. And this one's in reverse, so maybe the cat was out of the bag at this point and she couldn't quite put it back in anymore. Could also mean, since the person on the card does appear to be lighting a cigarette, that she may have uh, 
gone back for a time to this type of energy right here. We are putting it right underneath that. So this is kind of like the more downtrodden version of just doing stuff to keep herself calm. And that may not have led to great consequences. Let's see what we have here. We have the Hierophant. Okay, so at this point somebody steps in and basically tries to lay down the law, even though it's not quite emperor material it is somebody who has a position within their uh, sphere who is telling her what she should be doing definitely from up above because they have that authority within their community so i think somebody stepped in to try and calm her down possibly bring her back in the line what else can we find this six of pentacles okay so they made a donation to her basically being charitable they stepped in to try and calm her down and they ended up giving her a few things possibly to help uh speed up that process yeah this is really somebody from up above because if you look at the card it's somebody who has their uh, shoes being shined by the person on the ground and uh, they're just dropping a few coins without even really looking up from their paper like oh here you go have some of this you know because i'm a charitable person here you go a couple of coins to keep you calm and uh, let's see what the effect of that was oh we have here knight of wands i think this may have led to some actions um when they land like this i tend to keep them like this because it's not quite sure whether they're upright or in reverse it's kind of an in-between energy normally not want to somebody who's very actionable as you can see this one is called the rock star so somebody who really uh gets things moving very energetic that type of thing I'm thinking that she may have pretended to be revived after this interaction, maybe to keep this person calm and quiet and keep everybody else off their back. Like they kind of just pretended to be going along with it and for their own sake. Okay, we got three cards here. The universe, we have love and we have ace of cups love is the two of cups okay so i think in that she just kind of like this is the world card by the way so she stepped out into the world after this revival and maybe perhaps connected with some people uh, started a new relationship with them uh, maybe romantic maybe not i don't know this card tends to lean towards the romantic because of the people uh, that are reaching out for the same cups of coffee basically and touching hands and, and noticing each other that's sort of a, a romantic setup but it can also just be finding somebody who has a similar fate and just connecting in that sense and finding some type of uh kinmanship there now let's see uh if you look at what's next is she still out there will she ever come back to japan let's see if we can get anything of this sort so here's one justice this one's definitely in reverse so definitely not doing them any justice in this case it could be that uh what is like an ant there at her feet i thought it was flowers but there's ants and bees as well okay so there's no flowers here i thought there were a bunch of flowers but it's actually just ants and bees so it could be like uh they are pretending that something is a certain way and it's actually not like maybe they're pretending uh that they're sending you flowers and by they i mean like for instance the government in north korea tends to send out these messages like oh this and that happened this person is there this person is not that type of thing like they may be trying to appease but in the meantime underneath it all uh or if you look a little closer there's definitely something wrong with it and there's something there that is not quite what they uh pretend that it is i think that's the meaning of that i'll switch around let's see what else we can oops, find so there's definitely not a lot of justice being done. We have the Hermit in reverse again. So she is still hiding and possibly um, 
just mechanically doing her thing because once again we see that everything is not quite what they appear this owl appears to be running on gears and once again we have a snake underneath although it does have the snake in its claws so i think that the snake that was underneath the horse earlier in the seven of cups underneath this uh, ace of cups uh, has kind of been tamed in a way like she is just doing her thing following uh, the rules but also having tamed the beast in her own way so that things are under control from her point of view at the very least is she ever gonna come back to japan oh we have a couple cards here we have the ten of cups in reverse so we're not happy and we have the five of wands which is a lot of fighting still so she's still fighting things she might be fighting in her own way to try and uh, be released or have some information released uh, it's kind of like it's fighting a den of snakes like the hydra as soon as you cut a head off and then two new ones grow back so she's trying very hard to uh, make things happen but every time she manages to jump over one hurdle a new one pops up and making it more difficult and she has to go back to the drawing table whoops okay that's a lot of cards let's see um, we have the fool so i think at some point she's probably just going to uh, let uh, life take her where it may kind of like just trusting in the universe that everything will be uh, the way that it should which may not mean that it'll be positive but just kind of like okay i've done everything i can and uh that's all i can do and then we have the three of wands the nine of wands and the seven of pentacles again seven of pentacles trying to watch things come to fruition in the meantime though we have a more wanting to go places because this three of wands it does point towards wanting to travel perhaps not being able to though because we have the nine of wands which is by like a weariness and of a uh, long drawn out fight just want to rest basically but still hoping for things to come to fruition that might lead to fulfilling this three of wands uh, wish to travel so she probably is still trying to find ways to go back or to have some type of message sent out and uh, just really tired at the moment feeling that one of the things that she set out like one of the things that's growing on the vine may hold the key to this whole thing like she might be able to return and she's kind of hopeful that she might return let's see if we can get one more card on whether she will return okay this one the mage all right so somebody at the very least is able to do something because a mage is somebody who is a very um effective at least can be very effective very intelligent she may have grown very sharp uh over the years just looking at her surroundings looking at the people in it so she's definitely still planning still working on things and if she were to uh, if anybody could do it it might be her because she's probably uh, very wise at this point in any case she's not giving up so it's not a definite yes or no whether she will ever resurface again but it looks as though according to these cards she's definitely trying very hard and all I can really do at this moment is hope that she will be successful someday in any case that's what i'm seeing um i hope you enjoyed that make sure to leave a like and a comment that really helps the channel along if you'd like to subscribe that's also very much appreciated i hope to see you in another video thanks for watching and bye bye for now